welcome to a new video. I hope you are having an amazing day. And today's video is about starting your day right for a productive day. I think it's very relatable. Getting up and being productive to face the day is a struggle. I get it. So here are my tips to help make this a little easier. Number one, first things first, your alarm has yelled at you to wake up. Whether it be your first alarm or your seventh, the main thing is that you're up. Now, do not switch on your phone to go to YouTube or Instagram because it's not long before you spend three hours watching cat videos. I know it's difficult, but please resist. Instead, put on music, any music, as long as it makes you want to wake up, puts you in a good mood, makes you want to dance, the quicker you are out your cozy bed, the better. Number two, right, you are out your bed. Next thing you need to do is to freshen up. The less drowsy you are, the more likely you go from zombie you to normal-ish awake you. And plus, hygiene is important. So, brush your hair, your teeth, and if you're extra, shower, wash your face, change your clothes, la da da da. Number three, okay, you are awake, still not motivated, I get it. We are getting to that bit, just stay with me. Okay, so eat something. My go-to is a croissant, but you do you. I suggest that it's nice and also light, but also not so light that you're not eating. Breakfast will help you concentrate and it'll give you a good start to your day. Remember, you're not you when you're hungry. Number four, open a window. Get that fresh air flowing in the room. This will help you feel less groggy and avoid headaches. Number five, make yourself a drink. I personally drink water, less sugar and caffeine the better because you don't want to have too much sugar and have an energy crash during the day and caffeine can make you more anxious. Boy, is this video a bit of a downer, but hey, it's a morning motivation video. If I went easy on you, you'd still be in bed. So I hope you understand. Clean your room, but don't get carried away. Tidy your bed, the desk, or clothes off your floor just enough that you can actually see the floor and your desk and not dumping it into a junk drawer and overflowing the bin and that chair with all your clothes that you can barely see the chair. Clean properly, but don't clean too much because then again, you can get too into it and then you spend hours. And keep that music playing, have fun with it, trust me, when all this is pretty much cleared up, you'll feel less stressed, anxious, unmotivated to start your day because cleaning up itself is an achievement. seem kind of like yeah I know and like these are normal things that you normally do in the morning what's this got to do with being motivated remember it's about taking care of your body freshening up making sure you eat drink have fresh air it's all part of making you feel better so that your body is ready to face the day
Number seven, getting more into that motivational stuff. Now, for me, it is Bible study. Personally, this keeps me centered on focusing on the bigger picture, other than myself and my problems, which can make us feel unmotivated. Other ways you can do this is think about your goals, read motivational quotes, stay away from comparing yourself to others, and all that jazz. The key to motivation is making sure that your mind's focusing on what you can do, doing your best, moving forward with your own personal goals, and not getting overwhelmed. Remember, health is wealth. Number eight, make sure to write a to-do list for the day, and be realistic with what you can do, and don't put the bare minimum. Put down the things to do that, if you'd finished them, you'd be better set for tomorrow, and that you'd be proud of. Don't be disheartened if you honestly wasn't able to complete all the things you wanted to do. Sometimes things take longer than we expect, but knowing that you're closer to where you need to be with whatever it is, I also find that making sure that you are healthy, both physically and mentally, are major to having a productive day. And tips I gave were things that helped me personally: being healthy. Helps you be positive and motivated. I think it's important that you have focus in your day. Focus on your goals, what you need to do, and. Try to complete them. Don't think too much about what's going on around you. Think about what you need to get done. Okay, so more with the mindset motivation stuff. Being positive is a biggie. Be aware of your thoughts because they will become your actions and can heavily affect your mood. Your thoughts, especially in the morning, can determine whether you have a productive day. I know that in this day and age, it can be harder to be positive, and for me, making sure that. I am healthy physically and mentally. Can drastically help with this. Pay attention to your thoughts. Are they positive? Is your body telling you that you need more sleep to eat more healthily? Please don't ignore the signs and look after yourself. Even if you have a lot of work to do, you come first. You need to make sure you are okay first before you begin to do anything productive. Also, take breaks, but don't use them to procrastinate. And another tip: exercise is also important. Walking outside helps to take you out of your work environment, a place where it can be stressful. Walk to take a break from that. It will help you clear your thoughts and make better decisions. Know that when you are stressed, you won't be able to think clearly about what's the best thing to do. So keep calm and carry on. Alrighty then. So those were my eight tips for a productive day, plus a bonus tip by starting your day right. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe. I upload every Saturday, and as always, God bless, and I'll see you later.